from the age of 14 when I was about a 14 handicap. Uh, by the time I was 16, I was plus one. So that was a big drop in, in ability and in level, so it was good. Uh, then represented England at every level from England under 16s right up through to the men's. Uh, played all the amateur stuff you could uh, want to play. That obviously got me noticed. I got a lot of scholarship offers from the United States. Uh, chose a small school in Oklahoma. Had a great time. Uh, Oklahoma suited me right down to the ground. Um, played really well there. Uh, was on the Ben Hogan award list. Uh, was at one time on golf stat, ranked right up, ranked quite high up. Um, so it was really good. And that exposure uh, really helped my game. Turned professional. Um, didn't go so well on the European tour. I struggled at the Q schools as most people do. Um, it's kind of hard to fathom that your whole season hinges on pretty much three qualifying rounds. So stage one, stage two, and final stage. And at any point in those, it's over a 12 week period, I'd say. And if any point during that 12 week period you lose your game, that's your season done. Um, I think that's pretty harsh. Uh, but I found a lot of love and a lot of, a lot of good times on the Asian tour. I got my card over there. Uh, played a good few years on that tour and that got me an affiliate membership on the European tour. So I played in a few European events. I played the Classic, I've played Abu Dhabi, I've played uh, in Qatar. And then in, I think it was 07, 08, picked up an elbow injury. Uh, coupled that with a shoulder injury. And I just could never shake it off. So unfortunately I stopped playing. I uh, did a little bit on the MENA tour, uh, which was nice. It's a lot easier when you're sleeping in your own bed and you can play events that are on your doorstep. And we have great facilities out here in the Middle East, especially in Dubai and the UAE. So I really enjoyed playing the MENA. But once I stopped playing, I uh, got into some coaching. And then when the lead better opportunity came up, uh, it was too hard to pass up. If you'd have asked me during my playing days what my coaching philosophies were, I'd probably just say something really silly like grip it and rip it. I mean, you know, you but my philosophy would be pretty similar to David's. I mean, uh, we like to think that we make it a lot easier, try and keep it simpler. He's got a, a very famous quote that he uses, um, and it's quite funny. He says, you should feel like uh, you are the dog wagging the tail as opposed to the tail wagging the dog, meaning, you know, you should be the one in control of the golf club, uh, not the other way around. His knowledge on the game is just, it's incredible. I would go so far as to say that he probably has the best eyes in golf in terms of picking faults and seeing a swing change or, you know, he's so quick. Uh, in a day and age where we rely so heavily on technology and cameras, to see what he has done with the players he has coached, it's incredible. I have a wealth of experience. I mean, I've played on pretty much every kind of grass you can imagine in pretty much every condition from Oklahoma where in the spring it's just like, we call it Tornado Alley. The wind is just unbelievable, which was one of the reasons why I went there because I wasn't a very good wind player. Um, so I've got that experience in, in, that, in those conditions. And then you go over to Asia where, I mean, Brunei for me might be the hottest place on earth when we used to play our event there. It's just so humid, the grass is so grainy. So I have that experience of playing in that weather. So from bubble hat to sun hat, I can pretty much, you know, help you out, whatever the conditions. Um, at that elite level, those kind of players, it's very finite changes in their swing um, because they've reached that point in their game where they are pretty good as it is. It's just minor tweaks here and there and maintenance really. Um, and the big thing is course management. How do you get the best out of what you have? Uh, that's what I'm sure I would be able to help you with.